Hey, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. I'm doing some uh, dining room chairs and a bench and cleaning two bedrooms, living room, and a dining room today. But I'll be using a uh, orbital on the furniture or a, a rotating spinning polisher. There it is on the table there. And I'm going to be using a little bit of um, a Otoban 3-in-1 cleaner with some citrus D-Limony in it, or citrus cleaner that has a D-Limony. And you can see they're pretty soiled. So I'll get them all over in one direction here. I'm going to be putting them out on the patio when I'm done so they can dry although they'll all be dry anyway when I'm done I wipe them down oh what a beautiful dog <laughs> so anyway let's get right to it I'll clean one chair for you and show you what I do there's my supplies and basically spray her down You can see it's breaking up on contact there, which is pretty good. And then I'll brush it both directions. This loosens up all the embedded soils. And then I'll hit it with the orbital on uh, high speed. So I can, I'm using a terry cloth bonnet. And I'll be switching those out as I go. They don't last too long, the terry cloth, for some reason. I just think they pick up more dirt than the microfiber, though, so I keep using them. They're not that expensive to repurchase. So here we go. Okay, for anyone that doesn't believe that a spinning bonnet can clean and pick up dirt, there's the evidence right there. That's one chair, folks. So I'll wipe her down just to dry it up a little bit more. Look at that, fantastic. Simple and easy. Now we're gonna dive into the next set of chairs and get this over with okay I'll show you what comes out just on one bonnet and yes I should have had some rubber gloves on kind of gross <laughs> I did wash my hands afterwards, though, if that's any consolation. You can see these bonnets, they just, they get thin, they're terry cloth. I do slip it on over a wool bonnet, which helps. And here you go, came out beautiful. I set them out on the porch to dry. 
Okay, if you're interested, hang around, click on the next video, and I'm going to show the pre-vacuuming on this house. With that big dog you saw in this video, I think I got about five full canisters of hair and dry soil. So thanks for joining me in another video. I'll see you in the next one.